Today on the Philly Toll Podcast, we got to get into what Eagles made the All-Pro. We got six All-Pro players on this team, two on first team, four on the second team. But I want to give a huge shout out to Jalen Hurts making his first All-Pro in his second year starting. And the crazy thing is that 2020 quarterback draft, Joe Burrow hasn't got one. Justin Herbert hasn't got one. But Jalen Hurts got one. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Toll Podcast, and today we got some things to talk about. It could be getting expensive. According to Jalen Hurts' agent, Nicole Lynn, does anybody know where I can get a Brink truck, please? Urgent. We gonna talk about it, but before we do that, Eagle Nation, hit that all pro like for your boy, subscribe, and ding that bell so you know when these videos drop or when we go live, and check out the link in the description. We are going to be doing a giveaway over there soon, so sign up. It's free. We talk Eagle news behind the YouTube scenes like a Discord, and make sure you're available for the giveaway. Let's get back to this. So a little after it was announced that Jalen Hurts made second-team All-Pro at the quarterback position, which is a little different, right? Cornerbacks, there's two first-team, two second-team. Wide receivers, there's three first-team, there's three second-team, right? Quarterback is one and one. And Josh Allen was competing. Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, all these great quarterbacks. Shout out to Pat Mahomes, first team all pro. And Jalen Hurts, second team all pro. And the agent's already saying, does anyone know where I can get a Brinks truck at? The money bag emoji, urgent sign. Howie Roseman got to get this under wraps quickly. But Jalen Hurts deserves every penny he's going to ask for. The cap is going to go up immensely in the next year or two. How we can give him big bucks, but schedule it right with the other guys. Layer layer it with A.J. Brown's contract, with the contract you're eventually going to give Devontae Smith, and this, that, and the third. We can get it done, and Jalen Hurts, the MVP in my eyes, deserves it. Now, before we get to the All-Pros, because we got more to talk about. It's not just Jalen Hurts. We had five more All-Pros. Although we know Jalen Hurts is the leader of it, I gotta show you Lane Johnson back practicing. This is big. This is big. So he's already back. I thought Lane Johnson wouldn't be back until next week, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday next week. We get Lane Johnson back, but he's practicing on Friday. He'll have the weekend off and he can get back to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. He's in two on two drills. I like it. He's going to have to manage pain. But I like to see Lane out there ASAP Rocky getting the uh, the rust knocked off from missing a couple games. Now I'm going to show you what Lane said to Pat McAfee. He guaranteed him playing. But I want to get back to the All-Pro where we also got to talk about Lane Johnson. Here we go with the two first-team members. And it's along the O-line. Jason Long-Term Eagle Kelsey. Listen. Everybody thinks he's going to retire after this year. He's enjoying his podcast. He's enjoying talking about the weeks of football on his podcast. He's playing at an all-pro first-team level. Maybe one more year's in the books. We've been saying it and saying it, and it's been happening and been happening. He's supposed to retire two, three years ago. He didn't. Anyways, Jason Kelsey, first-team all-pro center. Lane Johnson, first-team all-pro right tackle. And now let's get to the second team all pros. Hassan Reddick, second team all pro. AJ Brown, second team all pro. Jalen Hurts, second team all pro. And James Bradbury, Overslay, who's been up and down this last month, but his coverage is sticky in the sense that he doesn't get targeted as much. But Bradbury was getting targeted and he was getting them PBUs up there in the top three or five, I believe, with PBUs. He's been playing lights out football, and he's going to need a contract from the Eagles or somebody else next year, too. We'll get into that in the offseason. Right now, we're talking about winning, not re-signing guys. Franchise quarterback's a little different. 
Six All-Pro players that ties two other teams. We'll get into that too because there's a narrative going around that you know was going around the whole system and the Eagles are so good. Jalen Hurts is good. Hmm. Pat Mahomes first team All-Pro. Pat Mahomes MVP candidate probably going to win it. Jalen might get runner-up for missing time. However, Kansas City Chiefs got six All Pros too, <laughs> so that team is stacked as well. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on the agent talking about this early. Jalen Hurts is not going to put money in his head until the season's over because he's about his business. He definitely is about his business. And I want to just say this on the Jalen Hurts All Pro talk. All Pro quarterback Jalen Hurts just sounds so right. For your information, both All-Pro quarterbacks have a bye week this week. Coincidence? I think not. The best quarterbacks have the best team. And the best teams are getting a week off because they earned it throughout the season. That is Pat Mahomes and the Chiefs, and that is Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. And speaking of the best teams, most players on their team that made the All-Pro list, 6 6 and another six piece. I had to change it up because you know the three sixes are. I'm not the super religious guy, but you know I don't like the three sixes. Anyways, Jalen Hurts, Pat Mahomes, and Brock Purdy's team. But they, you know, it is what it is. All this talk about Mahomes doing it with nobody. He's doing it with five other all pros. The same way Hurts is doing it with five other all pros. You could talk about what well, there were some Eagle snubs, blah, blah, blah. Hargrave, 11 sacks for a D tackle. Amazing, right? TJ Edwards been playing lights out at the linebacker position. But these are three teams that are going to make noise in the playoffs. Two in the NFC, one in the AFC. I'm just saying. For all this, everything's over there in the AFC. And all this, Mahomes doing it with nobody, but Hurts got everybody. Six and six, or five and five, because both of them are on the all-pro list as well. On the all-pro list as well. I just don't understand where all this is coming from. Now, there's something I've been saying about all this all-pro, and I, I made a little big deal last week, la not last week, yesterday, about Jalen Hurts not throwing. Well, look, he's at practice. I said he got to throw by next week. Jalen Hurts is out there. And he's already throwing. So maybe it was just a chill day. And I did come down after my video when I found out that A.J. Brown didn't practice. A couple other people didn't practice. So maybe Hurts was out there to be the leader he is. But he was taking an off day, throwing the ball, just like A.J. Brown was getting a rest day for his legs. So I ain't really mad at the game anymore. I just wanted to see him pass by next week. It just was weird that Nick Sirianni said all this doom and gloom about his arm. And then he doesn't throw the ball. But both Kelsey and Jalen Hurts let us know. The name going to be out there. The man, the myth, the legend will be out there against whoever steps on the Lincoln Financial Field. Now, on the Pat McAfee show, Lane Johnson, first day back at practice. Hey, let me hop on the Pat McAfee show real quick. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If you made it to the 8 minutes and 38 second mark, drop the muscle emoji in the chat. That's the culture we got on the Philly Talk Podcast. That's the culture we got in Philly. We are just Philly strong. It's a Philly thing, as Jalen Hurts will say. Drop the muscle emoji. It don't cost nothing. You know what I mean? Let's listen to what Lane Johnson said on the Pat McAfee show. Uh, I'm, I'm playing. What you want? If I can pull it up. Your game check. Now nah, I'm just picking different ones. I don't even know what I'm doing. So you're playing next week, or what do we think? Uh, I'm, I'm playing. That's, that's, that's the <laughs> Let's go! Oh, yeah, man. Oh. What a dog, dude. Yeah. What is it? wrap this thing up and see what happens. What is it, just pain tolerance, or is it stability, power? What is it? Uh, yeah, well, since that, since that thing's not working, then the other muscles take over. That, you know, they're compensating for it. So I don't know. We'll see if I get bull rush to the ground. That may be it. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think that'll happen. AJ, go ahead, bro. I don't think that will happen, man. Look, Lane's playing with some pain, but he did say he feels more comfortable playing with this than the messed up ankle he played with a couple years ago. So all that being said, the Eagles finish a, a pretty sound week of self-reflection, a little bit of uh, 
of uh, practice, pads on style. You got swept back. You get lame back. Hurts is throwing the ball. You take this week off. These players are going to be locked into the game. Giants, Vikings, Bucks, Cowboys, Niners, Seahawks. We going to be locked in too. Let me know your thoughts on that. Who wins each game? Drop it in the chat. You can comment one time with all your answers or a bunch of times. I like to read your comments. When we come back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we, we might not know who we play until Tuesday. If the Vikings beat the Giants and the Niners beat the Seahawks, that means the winner of the Bucks cowboy game will be coming to Philly, and that game is Monday night. So Monday practice, we might not know who we play. We might not know who we play till Tuesday morning practice. Then we got to rev it up, rev it up, rev it up. Gannon, Stighton, get right. Nick Sirianni, balance. Everybody else, all the players, Wu Sa, get ready to come out there and do y'all thing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We're going to go live tomorrow. Uh, got a collab coming up. And, pu- and listen, next week, when it's playoff week, Tuesday, we got Clay Harbor coming on. Wednesday, we got Dave Spadaro coming on. And before the playoffs come, we will have an episode of Goat Talk. Hit that like button for your boy. It is free. It's easy. It don't cost a thing. Listen. Sign up, click the description box, scroll down on your phone, click the title, click the description, go in there, click the link, sign up, make a name. We could chat it up behind the scenes, Monday Monday through Friday, talking Eagles, and we will be doing a giveaway, cash giveaway maybe, or a jersey giveaway, but it's coming and you'll you'll hear it on the channel, you'll hear it on this. But to enter it, you're going to have to do something in the app. And the people who already had the app, we got like over 500 people in there. You will have two chances at the giveaway. Or we might have to do a couple giveaways. I appreciate all uh, y'all love and uh, support. Until next time, you know what time it is. We out.